Now to that major breaking news for anyone heading to the Louisiana border today. Yeah, last week's strong st uh, storms, that is, are sending the Sabine over its banks, flooding uh, the roads there along I-10 right at the border. If you've made the drive before, maybe recognize this Lone Star, which is just about underwater right now. Courtney Gilmore is live uh, along I-10. Tell us how to get around the mess. Good morning. Oh, yeah, and quite a mess it is. Good morning to you, Owen and Sophia. So just to give you an idea of where we are, we're at the first parish right after you cross over to Louisiana state lines. You can see I-10 to my right, your left. Right now it is still open at this point, but we're expecting it to close in just a few hours. So right behind me is the way station. You can see that um, currently it is underwater here. I spoke to uh, several deputies with the Calcasieu Sheriff's Department, and they tell me that they've rescued about 30 to 40 people. People in the last three days, they are working uh, overtime and overnight shifts, making sure people are safe. They continue to get calls, though, um, of the need of high water rescue. Uh, take a look over here. You can see some of the trailers here partially underwater, but they say deep into this area, north of I 10, that uh, some of the water is reaching five, six feet into uh, people's homes. They tell me that it hasn't, uh, the water hasn't been this high since 1989. A lot of the residents. Thought that they could just wait it out. They didn't think the water would get this high, but uh, right now they're so, surely, uh, sh surely, excuse me, mistaken. And uh, so right now deputies are just manning the phones as well and this area, making sure that uh, the people here are safe. They don't expect the water to crest until Wednesday. So how is this going to affect the commute and especially those drivers, those 18-wheeler drivers or residents that pass to and from this area? Take a look at this text outside. So this sign is going to be posted uh, throughout um, the Texas area, so people on I-10 really get, uh, really, r really can see exactly um, their alternate routes and whatnot. It says I-10 is closed at Louisiana state lines. The alternate route is 59 to I-10, and uh, I got to tell you that is a long way out of the way, about three and a half to four hours out of the way. And so this could be a huge mess later on. We're going to keep our eye on it for you and give you another update in the next 30 minutes. We're now reporting live in Louisiana. Courtney Gilmore, KPRC Channel 2 News.